Hi, this is Steve Tolizzi, and you're watching We Are Photographers Learn Photography uh, training session on how to make colors pop in a photo using a conversion to lab color. There's many different ways to do this, but I thought this was a neat way that you'd like to learn how to do. So here we have a photo that has some nice colors in this shirt, in the pants, in the shoes, as well as in the reflections in the water. Let's try to make this pop. So the first thing we're going to do is come over to to the Photoshop and then duplicate the layer. And let's call that layer Luminosity. Okay, so now we have two different layers, a background layer and the Luminosity layer. And what we're going to go up to is the image and mode and change it from RGB color mode to lab color mode. Now you're going to get this dialog box that says, do you want to flatten the image? Do not flatten the image because we want to keep multiple layers when we're done. So now we're in RGB, we've moved from RGB mode to lab color mode. I'm now going to do an adjustment on this layer, but I'm not going to create an adjustment layer because adjustment layers will not transfer over when we go back to the RGB mode. So we're just going to do an adjustment on the layer itself and we're going to do a curves adjustment. Now you can see there's three different types of channels. They're not RGB channels anymore. They're lightness. A, which is a color channel, and B, which is a color channel. So we start with the lightness channel. At the lightness channel, I want to bring up some of the brightness. So if I bring the, the curve up, you can see I can lighten up this uh, photo really nicely. Now the real trick in this comes from the other two channels. On the A channel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this rightmost point on the curve, not go up and down but just bring it in horizontally about 25 percent now that looks pretty ugly but don't worry we'll we'll, we'll, we'll take care of that uh, later what you're going to do now is then take the left and pull the left in about 25 percent the same amount now we go to the A channel to the B channel and we do the exact same thing I'm going to pull the right to the left about 25 percent and I'm going to pull the left to the right about the same 25 percent. Oops, I apologize there. And then you hit OK. Now we have the photo and it's really bright and everything but don't worry about that we'll fix that in a second. What we now want to do is convert the layer back into into RGB mode. So when you hit RGB color it asks you, do you want to flatten? Do not flatten. And then it'll convert back into the RGP mode. Now you want to take that luminosity layer and we're going to duplicate the luminosity layer. And we're going to call that color. Now we have two different layers, the color layer and the luminosity layer. We're going to change the blending mode. So we'll put the blending mode of color to color and click on the luminosity layer and change its blending mode to luminosity. Now we're looking pretty good with this picture. We've really made the colors pop, but maybe a little bit too much. So we want to tone it down a little bit. And that's why we created multiple layers. So we go to the color layer and click on the color layer. And now you see over here the opacity we have at 100%. We can come and take that opacity and bring it all the way down, say, to zero. And you can see no effect on the color adjustments we've made. And then slowly bring it to the right until we get to the color adjustment we like. I think around 60% uh, looks about right, maybe a little bit more like 65% kind of brings out those colors. So we can do the same thing with the luminosity layer. So we go down, we click to the luminosity layer, and here we have an opacity of 100%. And you can go take it down a little bit and you can see what it has with no effect to the luminosity layer. And we can bring it up to maybe about 40, 50 percent to get what, the effect that we want. So there you have it. Well, this is how we can take and pop colors using the lab color mode in lieu of some other effects. Let's show the before, which is this, by adding uh, a, a curves adjustment to the Lumosity subchannel. We can add some uh, brightness, and by adding adjustments to the A and B channel, we can add some pretty interesting color into your photo. 
So if you really want to make your color photos pop, here's a way to do it using the conversion to lab mode. Hope you enjoyed the screencast.